Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sham. I welcome you all to my channel Dr. Pharma and on this video I'll be discussing on wound healing. So, suppose this is a cell and the cell is attacked by some kind of foreign particle. We have been discussing this cell injury from last previous uh, uh, many videos. So, there will be a cell injury, right? Any cell, if it is attacked by any type of etiological agent, then it may lead to injury to the cell, it is called cell injury. So what will happen when there is a cell injury or the cell has been damaged or injured, our body, our body cells or you can say others, other cells and the tissue, they will show some response. They will show some or they will show the response to cell injury to restore normal structure and function normal structure and function so try to understand here that the cell is attacked by some kind of foreign particle or you can see the foreign microorganism or you can say any etiological agent there will be a cell injury and our body cells will respond to this injured cell why to restore normal structure and function of the cell which has been injured or you can say which has been damaged such process is known as wound healing can we make a different definition here so you can say that wound healing is the body response to cell injury to restore normal structure and the function so this is the definition of wound healing now the wound healing involves two process number one is regeneration So as we have uh, discussed the definition, what is wound healing? I told you that the wound healing is the process in which the body cells will respond to our cell injury to restore normal structure and the function of the damaged cell. It takes place by two process. Number one is regeneration and second one is repair. Now what is regeneration when the healing, when the wound healing takes place by the proliferation or you can say the growth of parenchymal cells and in this case there will be a complete restoration of the original tissue try to think practically suppose you're having any wound or you can say any cell has been injured you you will observe that that cells are replaced by you know uh, uh, replaced by some new cells or you can say by the growth of the new cells and there will be a complete restoration so that cells you know they will recover again and they will come into the normal level you know or, or you can say it will uh, it, it becomes a normal cell so it is called regeneration remember that when the healing takes place so when the healing takes place by the proliferation of the parent camel cells and result in the complete restoration of the original tissue it is called a regeneration Second one is repair. See the difference between regeneration and the repair is in case of regeneration, the proliferation of the parenchymal cells is taking place. In case of repair, the proliferation of the connective tissue is taking place to, you know, uh, to, to, to heal the wound or to replace the damaged tissue. But in this case, in case of repair, it results in fibrosis and the scarring. See, scarring means you can say the blood or you can say the mark or scar so there will be a spot so remember that what is the main difference between regeneration and the repair in case of regeneration the wound healing takes place by the proliferation of parenchymal cells remember that and there is no scarring in case of the regeneration so when there is a growth or when the wound you know when the damaged cells is replaced by the proliferation of parenchymal cells there will be a complete restoration and there is no scarring. In case of repair, the healing takes place by the proliferation of connective tissue, but that result in the fibrosis and the scarring that is called blush or you can say the mark or you can say the dot, you know, a dark spot. And this most of the case, this both uh, process takes place simultaneously or you can say it occurs together. So this is two process uh, by which the wound healing is taking place. So now if you talk about the sequence 
of the repair and the wound healing that is the uh, the process then you will see that as you know that the first thing is that there will be a cell injury or the cell has been injured and I, I told you we have discussed that regeneration and the repair so what will happen there will be a proliferation and the migration of vessels the parenchymal cells and the connective tissue were towards the injured part after that there will be an angiogenesis so the angiogenesis means the formation of new blood vessels because that part uh, the cells which has been injured the blood vessels may also get injured that is why there there, there, may, there may be a formation of the angiogenesis also called vascularization vascular also called vascularization or we can say the formation of new blood vessels after that there will be extracellular matrix and the collagen deposition which helps in the uh, uh, you know which helps in the wound healing collagen is a type of protein and then i'll be discussing in the types of wound healing okay so uh, so what will happen after the migration of the parenchymal cells and the connective tissue the parenchymal cells will restore the normal uh, functions of the of the particular cells which has been injured and the connective tissue will give the or will provide the strength to that cells to grow again after that there will be a wound contraction uh, uh, you know that once the cell is injured there is an inflammation of course the wound contraction is taking place after that inflammation you know that initially only during the cell, during the cell injury or cell has been injured there will be an inflammation so when the wound is contracted there will be a formation of granulation tissue as well and in this way the repair and the healing is taking place so this is your you know this is the sequence of the process of the repair and the wound healing see i have just discussed in general the repair and the sequence of wound healing but there are two types of wound healing that is uh, primary wound healing and secondary uh, wound healing i'll be discussing in the uh, next video but this is a you know in a glance uh, how the process of the repair and the wound healing intake is taking place so this is how the wound healing is taking place right uh, i hope the video is uh, helpful Please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to uh, comment on my video. Thank you all.